everybody nerdigans this is the one and only pack girl 89 of nerdigans and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the elusive samurai chapter 157 but before i get into this recap and live reaction we are at war with youtube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel and in order to defeat this algorithmic beast we need you to please hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and uh, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha and uh, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus and uh, we ain't sponsored by Viz and considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel it's kind of surprising right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me my adorable little samurai kitty right here and this operation literally alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be news analysis or live reactions like this one Feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, um, so last time I covered the elusive samurai, um, we were preparing to head into battle, but man, I swear to God, Matsui, please, for the love of God, do not kill Aki. Not just because that man is my husbando, but because Tokiyuki called him his big brother. He called him his big brother for fuck's sake. Like, you cannot kill him after that, seriously. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. As with many battles in this era, little is known about the final battle between Aki and Mara now. What we do know is that the advantage shifted back and forth to the end. Let's see. The decisive war that will divide the whole world begins. And this chapter is titled Oshu 1338. Goei, are you reading the Shin Koken? I recently I read some by um, uh, Shinsei's daughter in uh, Noriko-sama. I love imagining lady poets. That's my <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Carry on. Yes, Lord. The nobility imparts wisdom to the warrior houses, and the warrior house the warriors pass it on to the common folk. When all throughout the land have grown wise, perhaps the world will no longer need noble and warrior families. I love this man! See, Aki don't need to do this shit! He don't need to, like, in, you know, instill culture into, um, into the savages, into the barbarian. He don't need to do it! He's doing it because he wants to! And it's actually working! Archer's loose! <laughs> this is nothing! High in the water! Order, um... Order Hatakiyama not to shoot back until I signal. Yes, Lord. All the fighting has depleted Aki's supply of arrows, and he couldn't produce enough in one month. According to my Tengu spies, he was buying arrowheads in the um, in the area, so I had the spies buy them uh, buy them up before he could. Oh, remember what we saw a couple of chapters ago? I don't think they need arrows, but let's see. They're running out of arrows, um, and our archers are waiting so they can't pick up uh, pick up bars. Now charge! Cast aside your bows. Yes, Lord. <laughs> the fool. We may not have enough arrows, but my northern brutes were born with another weapon to hand. What? Yeah! Uh, God. What? You're throwing rocks? Rocks are more likely to kill than swords. After, uh, after arrows, rocks were a primary weapon. Rock fights uh, as a game served as a military exercise. Whoa, they really put their shoulders into it. Yeah! Yes! So, um, why don't more manga and movie show scenes of uh, fighting with rocks? Because it's not so big! <laughs> and that's how the Yama, uh, uh, Takakuri. Oh my god, I... Matsui, I love that you put this here. I'm going to read this again. Rock fights, uh, let's, rocks are uh, more likely to kill than swords. A after arrows, uh, rocks were a primary weapon. Rock fights as a game served as a military exercise. So why don't uh, more manga and movie um, show scenes of fighting with rocks? Because it's not cinematic. And then we got a panel of it looking super cinematic. Matsumi, I love you so much. Um, compared to a bow, which is easily recognizable as a killing weapon, rock fights uh, look more like cavemen playing than warfare. <laughs> I like rocks. We got infinite supply. Ah, oh, the luxury. Aki 
is a joy. I love you, Aki, so much, friends. He's like eager rock too. Uh, uh, he's turning savage. Well, no shit, he is. He's like, ah. He's like, yeah, motherfucker. Aki's like, yeah, motherfucker. You thought you had us? Nah. You thought you had us? Nah. Rock beats. Oh, uh, wait. Rock beats scissors, motherfucker. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Our defense on the shore uh, uh, should uh, decrease the enemy numbers. Um, so now, where they're at, they're at the Yamato River. There's Kyo, Yamato River, Kai, um, the Ishizu River, and there's the uh, Yodogawa, and then there's the sea, which is Osaka, um, Osaka Bay. Um, I leave this to you. I'm changing locations. Rawr! Then we shall attack from the shore. The Yamato River is not deep. Cross at its mouth and strike their flank. Yes, Lord. No, you shall not cross. Yeah! Oh, the arrow from the ships. Oh, they brought a small fleet. Leave this to us, Stuart girl. We, yeah, no pirates. We pirates are skilled, uh, skilled pilots. We'll get the archers to a safe location where they can uh, focus on sharpshooting. Um, ships, eh? I'm not surprised. I cannot prepare a naval force in time, but I have an alternative. <gasps> what? What happened? According to the to letters written at that time. No! A mysterious divine wind blew at the, uh, this battle as well and burned the vessels of the southern court. Mima! We meet again, Shizuku. Mima! Finally! Finally! I've been waiting to see her. We have been waiting how long for this? Um, Mima, your powers work well with boats. You gave to Kuchisama a tailwind when uh, he fled to Kyushu. Um, I have fire here, and um, wind and water surround the ships, amplifying the fire with my power. Uh, oh, we'll easily sink those ships. Matsui, this fire. Oh my god! This is beautiful. Yeah, you use your power too, Shizuku. Let's see who's stronger. What? We must target her and drive her away. Disturbing her will weaken her power. Damn you! I want it doll. Sorry, Mima. Uh, sorry, Mima. Nisama told me not to overuse my power. He lovingly held me close and said it's bad for me. Don't get sappy, you backwards shrine maiden. Ooh. You must uh, misunderstand, Mima. I enjoy living as a human being, so I gather human resources and fight with human ingenuity. Mima, uh, do not uh, use too much power or uh, you will harm yourself. Shut up! If I kill Tokyuki then I, um, we must retreat, Mima. No! Deal with the girl after Morinau's victory. You may cease your, um, uh, you may cease your exertions. Let's see. I did not expect to lose six vessels uh, to fire. I must change the formation to support our uh, shore defenses. Early in the fighting, st st uh, strategies and tactics fell apart, but enough plans and uh, fierce fighters remain uh, for all-out war. A battle of strategies. Who will win? Dude, we got the return of Mila! Dude, Mila! Dude, this is a game of stra- This ain't no love and war. Nah, no, this is- This is all out war. This is spiritual war. This is physical war. This is total war. Yeah. This is like- This is great. I really am happy with this. I really like what- I love what we're getting here. I love what Matsui's doing here. I was so surprised that we were, like, I thought we were going to get, like, a straight-up duel, but I love the comedy that we got here instead. I did, I'm happy with this comedy. I'm, I'm hoping that means, though, because we're not getting it here. I'm hoping that the, that we are, we are going to be getting this duel between, um, between Mima and, uh, um, and, uh, And she's yeah, Mima and Shizuku, we're gonna get that duel at some point. We will get that duel between Mima and Shizuku. Tokiyuki's gotta give her permission for that. 
first, though. I think what will happen in regards to that, and I think this is what this was doing, uh, at least in my opinion. I think the next couple of chapters are setting up the final, setting up the fights that we're going to be getting in this war. Obviously, you know we have more now versus uh, um, uh, versus Aki. We have that. But then there's the Tengu. The, we have the Tengu versus... That's one fight we definitely need to see get fully set up. Um, we now know of it, but we need to see the stuff between the Tengu and, um, and Gemba and Natsu. We need to see that whole thing set up. I think next chapter is when we'll really get it. Is we'll see Natsu have that run in with the Tengu. Th we better be seeing that in the, either next chapter or in the next within the next few chapters. That is going to be very interesting when we see um, Natsu have her run in with the Tengu. Gemba and Natsu versus the Tengu is probably going to be one of the most interesting fights um, in this entire war. I think it, because remember what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a battle of wits, and one of the key things because. We're dealing with intelligence war here. The moment them Tengu are taken out, the Moinau is crippled. He will be completely crippled um, once his uh, uh, information and once is um, once the Tengu are completely taken out. So this will be very very interesting to see what happens here with the uh, um, with Gemba and Natsu versus the Tengu. I'm really I really am looking forward to that. I can't wait to see how Matsui executes that. Then obviously we got the stuff with Tokiyuki and Fubuki is going to probably be the most intense uh, fight out of everything that we get here. That's going to be like the um, the magnum opus, the final fight. It's in terms of like in terms of art, it's going to probably be. Well, Obviously, the magnum opus of this entire manga is going to be the final fight between Tokiyuki and um, and Takuji. But like in terms of this arc, though, oh, I know the Morinow stuff is going to be like when they take out Morinow, it's going to be beautiful. But man, I it's gonna that I just I just think about how how we're going to see Fubuki liberated from that darkness. How beautiful that art is going to be. I don't think... I don't know. No, Takuji being taken out is going to probably be the purification of Takuji. You know what I think it's going to be? I think the purification of Fubuki is going to be like a precursor to the purification of, uh, um, of Takuji. I feel like that's what I feel like that's what Matsui is gonna do with this. I feel like that's what it is. I'm very curious what you guys think in regards to that in terms of the art. You can make the argument. I'm very curious in regards to. Um, and what do you guys think about this fight with Mima and uh, um, and Shizuku? This fight's going to be very interesting as well in terms of a spiritual fight. I do like I'm torn on this because I do want Shizuku to to stay alive, but at the same time, I want to see where Matsui goes with this. In um with the fight between Shizuku and um and Mima. That fight is going to be very, very interesting. I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to Mima versus uh uh Shizuku. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think that that you know what? I'm gonna include the purification, because you can make the argument that there's a purification for Mima as well. I don't think it's going to be as intense 
as the one that we're going to be seeing with uh, uh, with Fubuki. That one is, is going to be more intense, obviously. But I feel like you could make the argument that we're going to be seeing like a purification kind of thing with Mima as well. I kind of could see it here too. I can. Like, just looking at her outfit, especially compared to what we saw her in before, and, like, the look in her eyes and everything, I feel like there's going to be a purification here, too. I feel like Shizuku is going to purify her, and then we're going to see um, Tokiyuki purify uh, Fubuki. That's what I think I'm, I'm that's what I think is going to be going down. It'll be very interesting. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Sync. Love what we're doing and want to help keep uh, this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, elusive samurai content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.